Welcome to Rocket League, ladies and gentlemen. We are here with coverage of your Valpo Rocket League team playing Michigan today as we look to get underway here. Brief delay, so we appreciate the patience and a 15-minute delay that we had here tonight. But we're underway now, and we're excited for this matchup. My name's Ethan Decatur. Henry's here along with me in the studio. Henry, I'm excited to see this one go down. This team's been really good in these past couple weeks, so definitely expecting to see some fireworks from this Valpo team. Yeah, so Valpo starting off strong, like you said, 2-0 in the NECC so far. Really excited as we're playing a big school today. Um, so excited to see how we're going to do. It's Valpo putting on a great attack so far. Master Seb with the goal. Yeah, Master Swip, Seb, excuse me, switching up that car design from last week when he had the brown car. Now he's got the teal. He did say that if he was on Orange Team tonight, he says that he made his paint scheme even more brown than it was last week just for the, uh, for the, good viewing, luck. the viewing pleasure of the audience. Yeah, and maybe for the good luck too. Uh, but that teal, definitely a much better choice here. Looks to be helping out. Valpo, first goal within a minute here. So a quick one, Jank with a great defensive stop there, coming over from that far side. That's a tough play to make and line up, but able to do it and make it look easy there. Master Seb will get a shot on here. Knocked down by the Michigan defense and then a demo there on Master Seb. So he'll be unable to follow that play up as Michigan will regroup and set up an attack here. Ball coming over towards the corner. Michigan, that's Zanily for Michigan, knocking that one into the corner. But Jake, Ooh. great pass in front of the net, and he is right where he needed to be. Obliviac still rocking that Sylvia, knocks that one down to Jake, and a pass to himself, hitting that backward shot right into the goal, and he will flip away with style off that explosion. Wow. Great play from Valpo there. 345 left, two to nothing, Valpo lead. Yeah, starting off strong for sure. Jank with a great play. Um, see that control in the air is phenomenal for him. It's Obliviax. Turn to go again. Valpo just on constant attack here. Good to see. Like to see him starting strong for sure. Yeah, so a pretty even expected matchup here, but Valpo's coming out strong here in game one. This is what they have to do. We were joking in here and saying that we hope that it's a Valpo sweep tonight because I've got somewhere to be at 8 o'clock, so we're hoping that it's a quick one here tonight, but... You know, Valpo definitely setting the pace early and making themselves known as a fast playing team as Obliviax will knock this one down over center. We'll have a competition up high. Jank wins that one, passing that down off that back wall. Van Kraken going after that one, not able to connect. As Obliviax will take a shot, Zanily with a good save there. A little bit of a weak attempt from Valpo. Ball coming up, Jank up high. Goes high up off the crossbar. Master Seb will get a 50 on that one. Not able to connect as Michigan will have a chance to regroup whiffing on that ball there, but still plenty of time as Valpo's in their backfield. Woke puts that one up, but Master Seb's there for Valpo to hit that one at midfield. Woke and Jank, Kraken sitting back in net to make that save. Kind of just sitting and waiting for that one. I think he was able to read what Jank was trying to do there. Valpo's been on offense almost this whole game. I feel like I haven't had a second to breathe as there's another shot on net. Oh. Jank with another one. That one's sitting out in front of the net. Michigan able to knock it away. Great stop on Michigan there. Had a couple opportunities there. Looked really close, but Michigan able to clear the ball and be on offense kind of for the first time. But Jank, you know, clears it right back uh, really quickly. Jank going up off the wall here. And yeah, we'll see if he can get a ceiling shot. Not able to, but that one will be right down in front. Obliviax rocking that Sylvia still this week after last week. Puts that one down oh. and a great shot from Valpo there. They'll go up three to nothing. A minute 52 left to play. Look at that pass from Obliviax to Master Seb. Back down to his teammate. Perfect angle on the car there. Dead into the center of the net. Great shot from Valpo and a great lead they're building here in game one. Yeah, after all those shots, um, Michigan's defense finally found a hole and was able to put it in, going up 3-0. Uh, this game one looking really good for Valpo. This uh, aggressive play style for them that we've seen in the first start of the season has just been really good for them and uh, working out really well. Back in Kraken, quite the name there and quite the pass up to his teammate there. Ball coming up over the goal. Zanily will knock that one down. Woke not there to collect. Master Seb's there for Valpo on defense. And a great flick there from Jake. He might have a chance on this one, but Woke there on defense to knock that one away. Master Seb with a Ooh. shot towards the corner, but off the inside post. Great attempt there from him and a little bit of an unlucky bounce. So Valpo's got this big lead here, but we've seen plenty of games in Rocket League change pretty quickly. I mean, goals can happen off kickoffs. Goals can happen off of one play. So 
really, I mean, even with a minute left to go, Valpo's still got to keep their tempo up and not let themselves get caught on the back foot at all. Yeah, got to keep your foot on the gas for your Valpo here for sure. Zanali will bring this one down into Valpo's zone. Valpo able to knock it away. Back and crack and making a play on this. He's got 350 points, so he is the leader for his team. So, I mean, Michigan's got the points. They've got plenty of points here in the totals, but, you know, they're just not able to put the ball into the back of the net where it needs to be. And, I mean, that's ultimately what decides the games. That's ultimately what decides the points, you know. So, definitely going to be looking for them to step up their play a little bit and try to see if they can keep up with this Valpo tempo because Valpo is absolutely crushing it here in the tempo category right now and definitely showing their dominance in that play style. Ooh, goes for a pass slash pinch there. Oliviak's not able to put it in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think a lot of those points are coming from saves and stuff. They've been doing a great job on defense, but Valpo has just had so many shots um, and is able to get three goals on the board in game one. Yeah, Jank with a great opportunity there. And we'll see Valpo maybe make one more crack at it here as the ball goes up in front of the net. Valparaiso is your game one winner. Great play. Jank, once again, player of the game. He was player of the game in every game last week as well, so he is definitely a dominant force for this Valpo program. We always talk about Master Seb, too, but, you know, all three Valpo players, all with the points in the 300, so definitely doing a great job of spreading the ball around, making themselves play, you know, all over the pitch. And we look at the shots category. They've got eight, six, and four, so plenty of shots going down yeah. the board and plenty of balls being spread around and great team play. We'll wait for the teams to ready up here. Henry, definitely an exciting matchup in that first game. That was a lot of fun to watch. Valpo all over this Michigan team. So, I mean, if they play game two like that, then it's going to be a pretty quick series. Yeah. But, I mean, first game, like we talked about last week, first game is always kind of a warm-up game. Yep. You never want to put your all your eggs in a basket too early. So, look for Michigan to come back at them with something here. We had uh, one goal apiece from each player, too, so good to see spreading the love a little bit. But Michigan was not too far behind in the points category, like you mentioned during the game. You know, usually when you see a 3-0 score line, like, the points aren't that close. Um, but we're going to get started in the game, too, here. The Valpo up 1-0 in this best of five series. Yeah, so always a good weight off the back to win that first game. Always gives you a little bit of breathing room. And not so much let your guard down, but definitely kind of lets you take a little breather and kind of say, hey, you know, we're up one. We have a little bit of working room here. We can try some new things, try some good team play, good passing, try to set things up and not try to force anything or make any drastic plays or do anything too crazy. So look for Valpo to just play some good, you know, fundamental Rocket League, you know, do what they're good at, which is passing and positioning. They've been good at it all year and pretty much every year for the past three years at this trio has played together so look for them to just play the rocket league that they know and kind of hopefully we'll say dominate in this game too yeah Zanali and master said making a play on that 50 50 there Bat ball goes up high pass up to obliviates woke trying to make something happen he'll carry this over the wall and he does get it past jank but he does not get it past master Seb as he's gonna have a ball up high pinching it off the wall but no teammate there to capitalize Jank coming up from midfield there all over that ball. Valpo is not letting Michigan get a ball out of their half, so a little bit risky with the rotations that Valpo's taken, having all three guys up past midfield, but it seems to be working for them so far. They seem to be able to predict where Michigan's going to be and really making these plays as they're just making play Ooh, after and play. The demo. And Oblivious <laughs> gets the goal off the demo there from VU. Great play from Valpa there. They'll go up one to nothing a minute and a half into this game. It's so tough to keep these rotations going when you're constantly pressuring on offense. Something's got to give eventually. Jank with the demo and um, not able to recover rotationally to uh, be ready to stop that goal. So we see Michigan taking a kickoff. Oblivious, though, taking it down to uh, Michigan's half already again. It's constantly pressuring, constantly keeping the foot on the gas, not letting them breathe. And eventually they're going to find those holes and opportunities to score these goals. Yeah, absolutely. Even though Michigan's been playing good defense for the situation, I mean, you can only play defense so well at this rank, you know. Eventually these guys are just good enough, you know, on both teams where those mistakes really start to add up and players are able to capitalize on those those misses and those opportunities like we just saw Valpo do there. As Obliviex will bring this ball up and over, no teammate there, so it looks like Michigan Zanily 
Spoke too soon. Master Seb comes flying up over center field and puts that ball towards Michigan's defensive zone. Woke knocking that ball to his teammate. Good pass there for Michigan, but Master Seb's there to stop the momentum before it begins. Jenks there now. I feel like Valpo's just hitting every ball before Michigan can even get a chance to regroup. You know, I'm not sure what they need to do right now. You know, whether it's just playing more aggressively or trying to go for some demos or changing something, but what they're doing right now is not working. Valpo is just taking shot after shot. Oh, Master Seb wow. with a double touch <laughs> off the defender. That is yeah. the first one of those I've seen this season. Wow, absolutely incredible shot. Look at that. I'm sure they are going crazy over there in the lab. A double, uh, already an impressive play, but I don't think I've <laughs> seen a double off of someone else's car like that before. Absolutely unreal play there. Valpo will go up two to nothing, a little bit over halfway through this one. Jank with a shot, and that one will go in two. Valpo going up three, so right where they were at the end of last game, but they're already up three to nothing. You know, just a little more than halfway through this one, so they've got plenty of time left to keep going up. But I do think that they will start to play a little bit more lax, a little bit more defensively. You know, I guess it could go one of two ways. What they're doing is working, but you don't want to get too greedy and then make mistakes. Ooh. Unlucky kickoff kick goal, goal there for yeah. Zanoli. He's got 309 points, and that's his first goal on the night. So been a good factor for this Michigan team, but now just finally getting this goal in. Creeps by Master Seb, almost getting back there, but not quite enough. Like you said in game one, you know, 3-0, it seems like a big lead, but these kickoff goals and, like, the lead can change, momentum can change so fast. But Michigan, I feel like they got to be happy to just get on the board here in this series. Um, it's Oblivious already putting a shot on goal. Yeah, you know, I've played plenty of Rocket League games where, you know, you think you've won games 4-2, to two, there's 10 seconds left, and then, bam, two kickoff goals right off the bat. Totally kills your momentum. So not that that happens quite as much, you know, here in competitive play, but definitely happens enough where it's a factor that needs to be thought about so we'll see michigan here trying to make something happen jank knocking that ball down he's got 300 points one goal one shot one assist so doing everything here for this team spreading that ball around making his name known as one of the top players in this valvo program zanily will knock this one down ball's coming over and ball in master seb with another goal there valpo going up one more four to one Great play there from Master Seb. Great play there from Valpo. Four-one with a uh, three-goal lead again. Get the kickoff. No goal off kickoff this time. Good to see that. Yeah, those kickoff goals always a little bit of a bummer. Always making uh, making you question a little bit. You know what the. Uh, what it really takes to score a goal in Rocket League, because sometimes all it takes is a lucky bounce. Yeah. And sometimes all it takes is being in the right place at the right time. But four to one, Michigan still keeping their head in it, not backing down yet. So good competition here from them. Oblivious will go up high. I don't think he's going to get the angle on this one though. Ball coming back up high off that backboard. Master Seb playing that ball up. Jank and Oblivious are retreating now, so they're going to be caught in a little bit of an awkward position here. But Oblivious able to get that one out of Valpa's zone. Great patience there, able to avoid the attackers there too. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And good way to, it's it's tough to make those balls connect with the car when you're going back like that. It's, it's yeah. difficult to turn on those. You can, There's a lot of ability to miscalculate the angle that you need to be going at. There's some weird bumping action going on there between Dak and Kraken and, and Oblivix. Master Seb will play this one over. Woke and Zanily going back from Michigan. We'll see if one of them can make a play on this. Woke does, but Master Seb is right there. But can he find a Valpo teammate? And the cross is missed. Oblivious going into the net and past the goal there. Past where he needs to be. Back and Kraken will make a play off this. Showing off his skills up off the ceiling. Trying to pass down to his teammate. But the clock will wind down. And VU will win game two to go up two to nothing. All they need is one more now. Master said picking up your player of the game. Not quite as many shots that game from Valpo, but they did score an extra goal. So great play there from them and just great play all around. This is a fun game yeah. to watch and fun competition. Yeah, and hopefully we'll get your wish too with the 3-0, able to clean up this series uh, and uh, you know get in, get out of here. So hopefully we can uh, keep up this pace and uh, keep it moving as we have another game where we win by three goals. Zanily definitely doing a good job. 543 points. So top point score in that game. 
Yeah, you're absolutely right with that. He has definitely been the dominant factor for this Michigan program. But, you know, unfortunately, teammates, not to say that they aren't picking up the slack, but it seems like Zanley's making a lot of plays and his teammates just aren't able to be in the right spot. And whether that's just getting unlucky or just some fundamental or communicational lacking that they're having tonight. I mean, Michigan is a great Rocket League program, so we've seen that they've been a good team, especially in years past. So yeah. I think this might just be one of those days where just off to a slow start. Whoa. Master Seb getting a corner goal right away. There. Right away. So we'll look at this one. I was talking, wasn't even paying attention to that one. He is able to get his car on that one, flipping that one up right under the crossbar, and those birthday balloons go all over the field. Great play there from Master Seb. Great place at the right time for Master Seb. <laughs> yeah, just like what we were talking about. All it takes feels kind of like a fluky right goal place. a little bit, but you know we 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 take those take every goal that you can get especially at this stage that can crack and making that save there for michigan ball will come up a whiff there for michigan master step will have another opportunity trying to get it to his teammate but zanley good defensive stop there for michigan keeping that ball out of the back of their net that can crack and then oblivious going up crack and will beat him to the punch there woke trying to make a play but an unfortunate miss that can crack it and jank Going Oblivious. at it with two a demo, demos. and there's another goal from demos. Valpo. The <laughs> double demo there from Oblivious. Let's look at this one again. Oh, look at that. Oblivious. One, two, boom, boom. Demo is the new meta. That's been the ongoing joke on the Rocket League team the past couple of years. So, um, well, you know, Being able to take out those, like, you know, first and second rota rotations for the defense, that was huge. Um, just leaves a wide open net for Valpo to take the 2 0 lead. Yeah, and I think that speaks volumes about – great shot there from Michigan, by the way. Yeah. I think that that speaks volumes about just how important that rotational positioning is in Rocket League. I mean, Valpo has always been a team that's preached rotations. I talk about it all the time, almost every single broadcast. The one thing that Valpo practices all the time is good positioning, good rotations, and always making sure that you're in the right spot. I mean, very rarely do we see Valpo let up a goal on poor rotations. I mean, they pretty much always have somebody back. They always have someone in the zone where they need to be, and that's what a good Rocket League team does, and that's a great thing to emphasize on this program, and that's what the Valpo coaching staff loves to preach and loves yeah. to talk about. You know, it's nice to have those flash mechanics to the flip resets. That we do see every once in a while, but having those fundamentals is really what's going to get you those wins on the board. Yeah, and I mean, far too often I do think that once players do get to this level, you know, where they're champ, grand champ, supersonic legend, up in that category, you start to focus. Great shot there for Master Seb. Valpo going up three to nothing here. Their third 3-0 lead of the night in their third great straight game. Too. So, yeah, great passing play from Oblivix. I feel like I see his name there on the assist category. Almost, yeah. almost every goal Oblivious that he's setting not up scoring, a lot of plays. he yeah. sets up plenty of plays for this team. A great support role for this program, and really just a great job all around for him. And Master Seb will, oh, will oh. not pick up a fourth goal for Valpo. Oh, sneak it in there with the save. Great save there for Michigan. Great last second save keep the team in this one woke trying to do something with it but an awkward pinch there coming from his teammate right over midfield jank will hit this ball up and over woke will be able to collect this one putting that ball back down oblivious is over there though not able to do anything unless he's got a teammate over there which he does not so ball will come back over michigan will have another opportunity to collect this one So halfway through this game three here, Valpo having a great start with that 3-0. Definitely, I, personally, I want to see him keep the foot on the gas. They've been doing such a great job. Um, you know, if, and if Michigan's stuck playing that defense, they're just not going to have an opportunity to get shots on net like we've seen in the first two games. Yeah, you're absolutely right with that. Definitely, Valpo has the ability to keep their foot down here, and it seems to be working for them so far. So if it's working so far over halfway through this game, I mean, why stop at that point? They don't have much to lose. They're up two games, and there's their fourth yep. goal. So all the more reason to just keep going at it and keep putting their foot down. So, I mean, great play here from Val, but look at that, Jank. Great back and crack and grabbing the boost, just not able to get back in time. Yeah, trying to flip over to that one. That's one of those last-second chances there where Valpa's just able to sneak that ball past the defense. Master Seb will come up and over to this one, trying to do a flip on that ball in the air, but not able to connect. Trying to get a little bit flashy there, but hey, when you're up 4 nothing, you can spare to do that a little bit. Ooh, Great save shot. from Zanley. Zanley again. Absolutely. 
carrying his team on the defensive end here tonight. Like we said, 550 points in the last game. That is not any small number by any means. So he is doing yeah. He's he can't do much more than he's doing. Let's let's put yeah. it that way. He's he's been doing pretty much all he can to try to get his team back in this one, but unfortunately the cards just don't seem to be in Michigan's favor tonight. As a good pass there, but a little bit off target as Master Step and Jank will connect with that one. So send that ball back down the other way. As this one drops down in front, Oblivious trying to turn on it, but gets bumped. Nobody there for the Michigan defense to try to do something. Let him master step, get that one. Jank will get this one now too. We'll see if he can get a double, double touch. We'll see if he can oh. time it up. Not able to, oh. but his teammate, Oblivious, is able to. Great shot there into the back of the net. Five to nothing, Valpo with a minute five left. I'd hesitate to say it because there's always that chance of a commentator's curse, but I would say that Valpo's probably got this one in the bag yeah. now. Don't, don't say it just yet. It's pretty, <laughs> it's, it's pretty tough to come back from five to nothing. Yeah. But with a minute left, we'll wait and see how this one plays out. I've seen it in my uh, plat rank lobbies before. Yeah, <laughs> it, it happens. Well, I, I do hate <laughs> to say it, but I, I think these guys are a little bit what? higher ranked. What? As, <laughs> as our viewers may be able to tell at home. <laughs> but once again, you're tuning in to Valparaiso University Twitch stream. We are bringing you Valparaiso Rocket League action between Valpo and Michigan. Game three here, Valpo up two to nothing. So if you're just joining us, you might be just about to leave us as we get down to 30 <laughs> seconds left to play. Five to nothing, Valpo. Clock will just kind of wind out here and we'll see if anything happens. We'll see if Michigan can at least get a couple on the board here, do something with it not go out quietly but man jank all over xanily there with that demo 10 seconds clock will start to wind down master seb with the ball on see if there's a last second goal just left of the net there clock will wind down four three two one letting that run out ball hit down into the ground valpo picking up your game three win and your series win three to nothing valpo great play Great playing from them <laughs> to <laughs> to go up on the season. So great action here tonight. Yeah. Quick action here tonight as well. So Valpo taking a 3-0 versus Michigan. Huge win for us and improving a 3-0 on the season. So, I mean, we're looking like an early season favorite, I got to feel like. I mean, we've been playing really well. So yeah, that's looking... off to Michigan, especially Xanaly too. Um, it's a good series. Got any comments? Yeah, just looking at the stats, you know, the ones that got posted the other day, it's yep. Valpo's Rocket League team is definitely – they're definitely up there in the rankings We're the right real now. deal. <laughs> and they're definitely – you know, we've said the past few years that they've been one of those teams that's going to be good, you know, within the next year or so. And every year we feel like we're saying that because they're always a breakout team, but they always just fall a little bit short. But yep. I think that this season they've really shown their improvements. They've shown their rotational skills. They've shown their abilities that they're going to be one of the top teams in the league this year. And, you know, they're up 3-0 and 3-0 yeah. on the season, I should say. And it's definitely proves that they're, they're a team to be reckoned with this year. And they're going to be one of the yeah. top ones in the league. So uh, we're fired up. Um, congrats to our Rocket League team. Tune in tomorrow as at 10 a.m. We'll have our Super Smash Bros. team um, finishing off the Glex season versus Alma. And then at 11 a.m., our League of Legends team will be taking on Ohio Northern. Um, but that's going to do it for here uh, for us here tonight. Um, I'm Henry. I'm Ethan. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Don't forget to grab a cup of coffee. Tune in tomorrow morning. Everyone have a good Friday night. Yeah. And enjoy the rest of your evening. See you guys.